Electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy transmission in which uh, electric and magnetic fields are propagated as waves through space. So that is more of the formal definition. Really, when we talk about electromagnetic radiation, most people tend to uh, think about it in terms of light waves. So light waves carry energy through space. And another important idea is to remember that light has properties of both waves and particles. So when we talk about electromagnetic radiation, really we're just talking about different forms of light. And I think everybody knows that light comes in a variety of forms from uh, x-rays to colored light to uh, ultraviolet light. Um, so one of the first things we're going to look at is the wave properties of light. And the first property is light waves have a wavelength, and that's uh, shown by the uh, Greek symbol lambda. So what a wavelength is, is the distance between two tops of successive wave crests. So it's just really a measure of how big are uh, the waves of light that we're talking about. The unit here are in meters or nanometers. So uh, normally we use meters when we're going to be doing some calculations involving uh, light waves. However, those numbers tend to be very small, so it's really common to talk about light waves in terms of nanometers. So one nanometer is equal to one times 10 to the minus ninth meters, and this is kind of a common conversion uh, going from meters to nanometers when we're talking about the wavelength of light. So light also has a frequency, and that's represented by the Greek symbol nu here. Uh, and what a frequency is, is it says, well, how fast are the wavelengths moving past a specific point? So if I hold a specific point in space, how fast are these uh, wave crests of our wavelength going past that point? And it's in given in, in a unit of time. So the units are called hertz, but we really don't see that so much. Typically, what we see is the unit of one over seconds. So one over seconds is a hertz, but um, really we're, when we do calculations, we're going to be using one over seconds. So just remember inside of frequency, there is a unit of time here. So uh, there is a second. So all light travels at the same velocity. And here we see a, a pretty famous constant, uh, the speed of light, which is uh, C. Uh, the speed of light is three times 10 to the eighth uh, meters per second. And so that's considered kind of a, a large number. One of the more important equations we use is that C is equal to lambda nu, or the speed of light is equal to the wavelength of light times the frequency of light. So remember, wavelength is lambda, frequency is nu, and this equation says that these two uh, properties of light are inversely related. So what that means is if we have a short wavelength or a small wavelength, we have a high frequency, and vice versa. If we have a long wavelength or a large wavelength, we have a low frequency. So if we do a calculation for this, the one I like to do inside of my classes is to look at the wavelength of common radio waves. So radio waves that's being transmitted and that you can pick it up on a radio are kind of all around us right now, and it's something uh, makes a good example. So if you were to listen to a radio, a lot of the times the, uh, the call symbols are in megahertz. So uh, say a radio station would say that they're broadcasting at 108 megahertz. So if we do that and we say uh, we're listening to a radio station that broadcasts on 108 uh, megahertz, we want to find out what the wavelength of that, of that uh, uh, radio waves that are being broadcast. Uh, here, the first thing I need to do is convert it to seconds. So in megahertz, remember hertz is one over seconds. I don't want mega, I want just straight hertz. So 108 megahertz is equal to 1.08 times 10 to the eighth uh, hertz or one over seconds. So if I take this equation and solve for wavelength, it says that the um, speed of light divided by the frequency is going to give me the wavelength of light. So here I take the um, constant, the, the speed of light, and I divide by the frequency that we were given here. And when I'm done, I get a wavelength of 2.78 meters. So in this case, you get an idea that some form, form of, of light radiation have a very, very large wavelength. So here the wavelength of radio waves is commonly, um, you know, almost two to three meters. So it's really quite large.